All right. Welcome back to our game. Edition just another rats cast. I'm right here as always. Can you once more from Star Trek Online? Let me board. <laughs> That's where we want to pick the land while I'm sitting. Starfleet Shuttlecraft, this is Vulcan Thanks. Orbital Control. You are cleared to land at the requested coordinates. Welcome to Vulcan. Please enjoy your stay. Hey okay, there, still mark is moving. Welcome to Vulcan. Do you have any questions? Pajem is a small world near Andoria. It is sacred to our people. There have been Vulcans on Pajem for centuries. In 2152, the ancient buildings that housed our monastery were destroyed by the Andorians. It was a failing in our logic that led to conflict with the Andorians. We have corrected our error. After the Federation was founded, a group of Andorians, Vulcans and humans rebuilt the monastery as a symbol of peaceful coexistence and cooperation. Since then, a group of monks has lived there. They study the ideals of Sirach. Do you have any questions? My business is my own. 
If you must know more, I require a meeting with the abbot. He will not use subspace communications. So if I am to receive his counsel, I need to meet with him directly. Do you have any question? This is ridiculous! Access to Bajem is strictly limited to preserve the sanctity of the monastery. No outsiders are permitted to land without the expressed permission of Savin, the leader of the Order of the Priests that maintains the planet. Ordinarily, this would not present any difficulty. But Savin has chosen this moment to illogically question my visiting the monastery. He is refusing to grant leave for me to meet with the abbot at Pajem. If I do not complete my journey to Pajem now, I will have to delay it until after the trade conference at Corridan is complete. And that could take weeks. I fear I have spent too much time off-world. While I find it easy to deal with others, my own people can be... stubborn. Perhaps you could speak to Savin. I know he has a great deal of respect for Starfleet, and you might have an easier time than I have. Peace and long life. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Many years ago, the gem was used for political purposes. Technology used to spy on the Andorians was hidden beneath the sacred sanctuary. It should never have happened. Buildings that had stood for 12 centuries were destroyed because we allowed politics and war in a place where there should only be logic and contemplative thought. When the monastery was rebuilt, we pledged to keep it safe from the cares of the galaxy. Only do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Even a people who reject emotion require peace and contemplation. We are a spiritual people. Our rituals guide us throughout our lives. Vulcans who choose a life of study and isolation, as the monks at Pajem have done, help us maintain our connection with our ancestors. The monks' study of Sirach's words in the Kirshara give us all a greater understanding of who we are and who we should strive to be. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Centuries ago, the Vulcans were creatures of emotion. We fought one another in a series of wars that devastated our planet. Our species was on the brink of annihilation. Sirach taught us to embrace peace and to put aside our emotions in favor of logic. Sirach ushered in a time of awakening on Vulcan. His writings, the Kirshara, shaped all that we are. Without Sirach, the Vulcans you know would not exist. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Sokoth has spent more and more time away from Vulcan in recent years, and seems ill at ease in what was once his home. Tapella admits he has changed in the past few months. He spends hours closeted in his study, and does not share meals with his staff as he used to. Tapella says that the stress of the war with the Klingon Empire is taking its toll. She hopes the peace of Pajem will restore him. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? I neither trust him nor distrust the Ambassador. I simply do not understand him. He will not reveal his reasons for wishing to speak to the Abbot, and has refused a mind meld with me. Normally I could respect his privacy, but other things I have heard trouble me. Do you seek knowledge of the Ancestors? Sarketh accuses me of abandoning logic, but he is the one refusing to explain his reasons for wanting to go to Pajem. The planet is sacred. Our ancestors walked those paths. They found understanding and serenity in its quiet. When I am at Pajem, I feel more at peace than any place else in the galaxy. Pajem has been touched by outside influences in the past. 
the Federation is at war. Now more than any other time, we must protect this refuge. Have yours, Uncle Jeremy. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Hmm. I will permit it if you will pledge to me, on your honor as a Starfleet officer, that you will protect the gem from harm. Sokath says his reasons for wanting to speak to the Abbot are private. I will accept that, but only if you are with him. I know I can trust Starfleet. Please, protect the gem from any who would violate its sanctity. All right. Do you have any questions? Excellent. Our departure has been delayed long enough by the whims of one man. I am prepared for the journey and can leave immediately. All right. All oh, this because he doesn't like transporters. Which is illogical for a Vulcan. Seems to be a lot illogical about this man. Something definitely is wrong. Starfleet shuttlecraft, we have logged your flight trajectory, and you are cleared for departure. Live long and prosper. Okay, love when she try to tell you to enjoy your stay and like try to force that out of her mouth. I need to meditate and prepare for my meeting with the abbot at the gem. If you have no objections, I will retire to my quarters. Please notify me when we have arrived at our destination. Once again, you have my gratitude for your assistance. Okay, so here we are. I don't know what trouble we're gonna find. Hmm. 
Uh oh. You have a foul shape key to aboard your ship. Turn the creature over to us, or we will destroy you. That foul beast on your ship is an undine. They put on a false face and try to control us, but we Klingons know better. We will hunt them down until the last of those honorless dogs dies screaming. My patience is limited. Speak quickly. The Undine come from a dimension known as fluidic space. They use quantum singularities hmm. to move into ours. Undine are telepathic and physically superior to humans. They see anyone from our dimension as an inferior life form, even Klingons. Soon they will know how wrong they are. Undine have the technology to be a real threat to anyone, even the Borg. But the worst of their weapons is their ability to take our forms. The Undine have inserted themselves into every major power in the Quadrant and seek to control us through trickery and misdirection. You must be vigilant. My patience is limited. Speak quickly. You tell me, Starfleet. It was your people who first encountered the Undine in the Delta Quadrant back when we knew them as Species 8472. Many among my people want to know just what you did to make them hate us so. My patience is limited. Speak quickly. Do you doubt my word? Insult my honor? I have killed men for less. I have nothing to prove to the likes of you. Turn that so-called ambassador over to me now, or face the consequences. Listen. I knew something was wrong. If you will not turn over the shapeshifter, then we must destroy you. Which I wish I just could. They wouldn't give me that option. Additional shields are up. Both times away.
Whoa. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Put songs away. Basic maneuvers. Whatever this blue beam is. Shoot, I missed. Your inventory has a replicator that allows you to buy and sell items. You can purchase common items from the replicator. You can also sell items by using Recycle and reclaim previously sold items using Retrieve.